Live. News 8's Good Morning Connecticut starts now. Treatment denied. New this morning, a shocking state report about health insurance. Private insurers rejecting requests for mental health care. And possible danger in your home. Your child's health could be at risk. What every parent needs to know about the potential culprit lurking within the walls. You, we have an interesting story this morning okay. about medication and your mind. A new study looks at a common over-the-counter medication that many of us take, what it finds about the main ingredient and its effects on your brain. Plus a, a late night bombshell, Jimmy Kimmel applied for a new job ahead the change the comedian hopes to make in his career. Hmm, it looks like good morning to our friends waking up in New London. Here's a live look in your backyard this morning. Let's also say good morning to everyone waking up in North Brantford, Durham, and Waterford, wherever you are. Good morning. Good morning. Glad good morning. Good morning. <laughs> it's now 10 minutes after 6 on your Friday morning. You're just getting up and going. We're coming right back. Stay with us. You're watching Good Morning Connecticut. Right. All right, changing what you feel, a common over-the-counter medication may be doing more than just making the pain go away. We'll have that story for you coming up after the break. Stay with us. You're watching Good Morning Connecticut on this Friday morning. Glad you're with us. Making history in Hartford, the biggest show on earth, putting on a performance without one of its main acts. A look at the changes under the big top. All right, but first, speaking of changes, anything going on weather-wise? Yes, sir. We do have some rain coming in for the afternoon. We're going to break down your pollen count forecast and take a look at some current temperatures. That's coming right up after this break. Requirement to register another call for action, a congressional committee wanting more women in the armed forces while lawmakers want them to sign up with the selective service. Plus the Zika zigzag, the virus making its way around the world from the Caribbean to Connecticut. How Congress trying to keep it from spreading. When we come back, stay with us. Live, News 8's Good Morning Connecticut starts now. Budget battle, the fight continues. Happening today, State House lawmakers voting on a plan to cover a nearly $1 billion deficit. Plus, a marijuana meeting. One group trying to shape a statewide discussion about pot, what it hopes to accomplish. One company wants you to be able to take a picture with just the blink of an eye. A head technology of the future that would allow you to capture everything you see. That is Can a crazy story. Yeah. I know. You're going to want to stick around for that one. Let's say good morning to everyone in Prospect, Westbrook, and Ledger. Right now, here's a live look at Middletown. If you're waking up there, wherever you're waking up, don't forget that umbrella. All right. Gil coming up with his complete forecast. But coming up right now, here's the Chief with our Pet of the Week. I'd like you to meet Willow, who is one year old and part bulldog, walks perfectly on a leash, loves to play with toys. We understand there's a little cuddle bug who was left at the shelter. And how about this face right here? Aren't you pretty? Hey, call our friends at the New Haven Animal Shelter and give Willow a home, 203-946-8110. So it's the last day of the week, but you have yes. to power through. We want to make sure you get to work and school on time this morning. We are certainly doing that. Coming up, final check of the highways with Teresa as we take a live look at New London. Gil, of course, with your weekend forecast. But first, here's what's coming up next on GMA. She said to the world, don't Photoshop me, show the real me. And now this morning, wait till you hear what Megan Trainer has to say on GMA about that video she had pulled. And just wait till you see her amazing live performance. This morning, only on ABC's Good Morning America.